ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're going to be doing a video I've been wanting to do a long time because uh, I did one before titled Why I Left Atheism, but it was on a uh, camera that was compatible with YouTube and as YouTube changed over the years because I've been on YouTube for like six or seven years I believe, they uh, changed the format of it so the video wasn't as good quality so now we have a GoPro and it's good because I can do a new and improved why I left atheism video and you know as I tap my finger to my formerly Bible page turning uh, <laughs> fingers and Bible speaking uh, mouth I realized something when I was in atheism and it took me years to realize what atheism really is Atheism is a crutch for those timid people that cannot bear the reality of God. So um, I want to tell you a little testimony of why I left atheism. You know, as a child I was taken to the Catholic Church and I saw a lot of inconsistencies there. And um, you know how they have different saints that you pray to and of course I still believe that's wrong. But that really turned me off on, uh, not really God, um, but, but the way, but religion, you know, I was still open to the possibility of God, but I, um, by the way, we're taking some awesome corners here. I'm on the Yamaha R1. You know, I love this bike. People say, don't get a leader bike. It's too powerful. You don't need the leader bike just get like an R6 or whatever, but it does make a big difference on the freeways and things like that. But, so I basically rejected God. I'm like, you know, God doesn't exist. Um, and then as I went through the godless liberal socialist indoctrinating public school system here in Californication, uh, they uh, taught me that we're all just animals, evolved from animals. And um, so I, you know, uh, drifted away from any uh, belief that God would exist, you know. I do believe that what was really happening is I was suppressing the truth in unrighteousness, like scripture says. What a lot of atheists, they'll, they'll say they don't believe in God, but there's so much proof and evidence for God. They're like the man that's trying to hold a basketball underwater. You ever try to do that? You hold a basketball underwater and um, hold on here. I gotta go left. There's Sometimes there's like gravel here so I gotta be careful. What the heck is this guy? Okay, let's hold up a second. Are you leaving or give me a hint? Okay. So Let's get on it a bit here. You know what happens when you hold a basketball underwater? It keeps popping back up and you have to suppress it. You have to hold it down. And that's what atheists tend to do. And then I started studying evolution. And this is kind of a trigger which um, caused me to doubt atheism because I saw too much design in all of these species and you know here's what's really stupid about atheism if you have a dog or a cat go get your dog or cat right now and just hold them in front of you atheists want you to believe that as a direct result of a massive explosion in the universe that was caused by nothing by the way they say nothing did it Look at this. Let's go over here and uh, let's use these donkeys as an example. So, uh, atheists want you to believe that the Big Bang happened and these donkeys just popped out of the explosion, right? They just exploded out of it. I gotta go up and turn around here. These donkeys here in California, they're wild donkeys. There's um, basically
basically they just let them run wild like because the environmental act where you have to have these wild donkeys oh boy lots of gravel so as a direct result of the big bang you see how the front tire slipped back there these donkeys popped out and i just couldn't believe that these species popped out of an explosion with eyes and ears and i mean that's really stupid that someone would believe that. I could believe, however, these donkeys, good, they're going up there where it's safe. I could believe, however, that someone guided it or something or God guided it. You know, that seems like it makes more sense. It doesn't seem like it's not guided. Um, I've never seen an explosion create design and order. Um, so, atheists believe out of chaos, design and order arrived. And I couldn't believe that. It even had a tinge of that religiousness, religiosity, like uh, in the Catholic Church. Like you just had to believe it on faith. And then I started looking for these transitional fossils, the missing link, and I couldn't find any missing links. So I believe there's something else going on there with uh, all of this creation. So anyways, I started uh, studying science. Uh, DNA is very fascinating. I was fascinated by that. Kind of scared these donkeys are going to pop out in front of us. Because <laughs> they're all over. You don't want to hit a donkey on a Yamaha R1. So I became very fascinated very, very fascinated uh, with design and DNA and things like that. And then, um, of course, um, I read scripture and I read about Jesus Christ and I noticed that his words that he taught were totally out of this world. Never really heard of words like that until I heard of uh, Jesus Christ's teachings, you know. And then as I started studying um, what atheists believe, and they believe that the um, universe is going to die and everything inside it will die eventually, you know, that's exactly what science says, that the universe is going to die and everything inside it's going to die. So I thought, well, what's the purpose of atheism? See these crosses on the left? It's like a church up there. And I realized that on atheism, there is no purpose. The end result of atheism is death. No matter what way atheists want to slice it, it's going to end up in death. Stinking, rotting, pathetic, purposeless death. And so I could not find any proof and evidence that atheism were true. And uh, let's take this corner here. And so, without any evidence that atheism were true and seeing that it basically just leads to death, so when you see these atheists saying that they're going to um, create this great utopia in life, it's not really true because science has already shown unless God steps in, the universe is going to die and everything inside of it dies. So, what's the point? I don't get it. What's the point of atheism? There really is no point. And atheists cannot provide a better worldview since no matter what worldview they choose, uh, it ends in death. They're admitting that it, it ends in death. So I just don't get that. Um, I, I just couldn't uh, agree with that. Now, when I started uh, researching Christianity, I found lots of evidence, and it, what kind of blew my mind is why would all these people go to these horrible deaths for Jesus Christ, you know? And how did Christianity explode onto the scene unless something happened, something had to happen? So I started uh, studying Christianity. And I was fascinated with the teachings of Jesus Christ were different 
like out of this world and of course now I know they are out of this world but you know pray for your enemies he says if someone tells you to walk with them a mile go with them two miles you know this was teaching that is not from man you know it it's just out of this world and then uh, Jesus had the audacity to claim that he is God and that he came down from heaven so um, I started really being fascinating fascinated with scripture and I started reading it reading it and um, I uh, went to the beach and I was on the beach reading scripture and I had an epiphany I got it in scripture Jesus has this episode where these guys confront him and they're anti Jesus they don't believe in Jesus Christ they're rejecting him and Jesus he's awesome he says look <coughs> excuse me he says look I gotta get over here well maybe I can cut down the middle California they let us do this Jesus says look I do the will of my father <laughs> you do the will of your father and he's basically calling their father you know Satan this is what he's saying he's saying look your father is Satan <laughs> and um, I've noticed that on YouTube why do the atheists always uh, bash God um, the amazing atheist the amazingly hellbound atheist he has a video titled Jesus is a scumbag that's his uh, video and I'm like oh my gosh they will sink to no level the nicest person in world history Jesus Christ and he's calling him a scumbag and so when you watch the video he basically says Jesus didn't do any good miracles so what so he turned water into wine da, da, da. but he conveniently leaves out the rising from the dead and bringing Lazarus back to life conveniently leaves out the taking the sins of man upon himself Jesus is awesome so um anyways that's why I uh, left atheism and I, I saw so much evidence <coughs> excuse me I saw so much evidence um, for God you know the universe had to come from somewhere but on atheism you have to believe that nothing did it you know I can't believe that nothing did it um oh and then debates that I've had you know I debated Steve Chives or Shives I don't know how he pronounces his last name he's a very famous uh, atheist on YouTube of course all the atheists are like attacking him you see how they eat their young but if you click below here you can see and hear of the debate I had with Steve Chives now Go, listen to all the arguments that I make and then listen to the arguments that the atheists make and, and in that debate with uh, Steve Shives also and what happens is get a piece of paper draw a line down the middle write all the arguments that I give for the existence of God and write all the arguments that uh, atheists give uh, for the side that God does not exist okay go ahead and do that and then see which one looks better to you I challenge you I challenge you to do what I did and be honest above everything be honest with yourself and this is why I said atheism is a crutch for those timid people that cannot bear the reality of God that's all it is it's a crutch so um, but I challenge you you guys to um, look at the arguments on my side that I said and look at the arguments on their side that the uh, atheists say and be honest see which one does better 
And if you're honest, you can't be an atheist. You can't be an atheist if you're honest. Now, um, when I was just to give you some highlights from the debate with Steve Shives, you know, on Christianity we can say why things are wrong. Why is why is rape wrong? Why is murder wrong? We can say these things. You know how Jesus said. Hold on, I gotta get over here. You know how Jesus said, "Do unto others as you would have them do unto you." So you're not gonna murder someone or rape them. So um, why does God say that homosexuality is sin? Because God is pure. God is holy. Why does God say, you know, don't cheat on your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, because God is faithful? See, all good comes from God. It exudes, it comes from God. So, in the debates, when I ask atheists, is murder wrong, is rape wrong, they'll actually say no. They'll say, no, it's not wrong, it's subjective. And that's one thing that, seriously, if you're an atheist, really, you're okay with that? What the hell's wrong with you? What are you thinking? You're okay with that? Have you lost your mind? Um, it is just madness. Um, now, Steve, however, and I'm going to compliment Steve Shives, Steve said, well, yes, it is wrong. You got to... You gotta say that it, that Steve's pretty cool for saying that. At least he's admitting it. It's like this huge motorcycle over here. I'm gonna get around this truck real quick. <laughs> he's got like a radio on and I can hear it from here. So Steve admits that it's wrong and I said, okay, why is it wrong? He could not ground objective morality in atheism. How could you? On atheism, you're just a filthy, evolved animal. A filthy, stinky, evolved animal. Hey, don't get mad at me. Aaron Ross said you're just an ape. Did you see that video where Aaron Raw and Eric Hoven, they're at the ARC exhibit? And Aaron Raw is going ape over the ARC exhibit. And he says... He's talking, and I'm not making this up, he has a banana in his hand. I played the video back, he actually was holding a banana, which is just funny. And Eric Hoban says, do you believe that um, you're an ape? And Aaron Ross says, yes, we're apes, that's what he says. And then he got his poop and he threw it at Eric Hoban, but Eric ducked in it. No, I'm just kidding. But everything else I was telling the truth about. He did say he's an ape. So why would an ape, why would murder and all these other bad things be wrong if we're just evolved animals? I mean, who are you to tell me how to live my life if we're just animals? You see, it doesn't make any sense. So atheism is a crutch for those timid souls that cannot fathom or bear the reality of God. Um, my challenge is still out. Click share below this video. Send this video to an atheist. I'm challenging atheists to provide proof and evidence that would finally at last show that atheism is accurate and correct. Where is this proof and evidence? You know what? I've been on YouTube a long time. It was six, seven years. I remember um, back 2014, we challenged atheists to provide proof and evidence that atheism was accurate and correct. They couldn't do it. 2015 rolled around. We challenged them again. They couldn't do it. Why is this guy just with his brakes? 2016 reared its ugly head. They couldn't do it. And alas, my subscribers. It is 2017. Let's, listen to this. <gasps> I'm holding my breath. <gasps> I don't think atheists are going to do it. Don't hold your breath. 
what is it? I'm making this video in May and it's 2017. So we got June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And then you know what it is. 2018. Do you think atheists will make it or will they fail like they did in 2016? 2015? 2014? What do you think? You think they make it? Or do you think they're going to fail? I think they're going to fail. Speaking of fail, California traffic. Look at this. California traffic is a total fail. This is why you want to get a motorcycle. I'll be one of the few people that can just move through that. How be it dangerous, lane splitting, not for the weak of faint of heart.